going on y'all welcome to this beardless and also rainy edition of meat cranium barbecue bear review today i'm going to do something fun um i've had kind of like viewer requests this is some old ones but i've had uh people ask me can you do pizza on the oklahoma joe bronco i don't know go ahead and get the old oklahoma joe bronco fired up there it is. You get it to about 400 degrees. And I'm not gonna waste uh, like a nice fresh pizza. I've got some frozen pizzas. I'm gonna see if I can cook some frozen pizzas on here because resources are kind of thin right now with uh, you know trying to find everything I would need to make a fresh pizza. So I'm gonna throw some frozen pizzas on here and both boxes requires that these side the oven is 400 degrees. Well, this is not gonna be in the oven. This is gonna be wood, like a, like a wood fire type pizza. I have no idea how this is gonna come out. So success or fail, I'm gonna take you along with the ride. All right, so let's get started. All right, since it's raining out here, I have the ink bird on the, on the hinge of the back of the Oklahoma Joe Bronco. And I made a, and I'm not sure if it's waterproof or not, so I went ahead and I got a, uh, a piece of aluminum foil. See, right there. I made kind of like a little uh, umbrella for it. So there we go. Right now it's at 214, goal is 400 degrees. All right, so I had to move the Bronco to underneath like the roof part of my garage just started raining a little bit too hard. Just so you're, uh, in case you're wondering, I'm using uh, some pear wood. I'm using the charcoal I have left over from the pork belly burnt end cook that I did last week. So that's I'm just using those charcoals up that's, that was in there. I'm using a full chimney of charcoal. And then also, this is gonna be cooking pizza. I'm gonna try it two different ways. I have two pizzas. Gonna, one's gonna be on a, a pizza stone. The other one is going to be how they recommend it, which is on the rack. So I'm gonna see if there's a difference if you do it on the smoker like this, if you should have a pizza stone or just do as they recommend, just keep it on the rack. I haven't got the pizzas yet, uh, but I'll let you guys know what kind they are. I can't even remember what kind I even got. Like. I don't know, DiGiorno or something. I don't know, it has like rising crust or whatever. It doesn't matter. But anyhow, I think it's like right around 300 degrees right now. I got, I'm almost there. Okay, so as you can see, it just hit 400 degrees. It's three o'clock. It took about 20 minutes for it to get there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a fine adjustment here. And I'm just gonna push this down just to about three and a half and see if that's going to uh, kind of lower the temperature a little bit and kind of keep it even. See how fast it reacts? Look at that. I think right there is a good one right there. Okay, let's get the pizza on. All right, first pizza I'm putting on is going to be the DiGiorno Rising Crust. Ooh, Rising Crust Pizza. It's gonna be the four cheese. Instructions, so I'm gonna go by the instructions right here. 400 degrees, I got it there. Uh, prep, remove pizza from freshness wrap. Wow, uh, place pizza directly in the center of oven rack. 19 to 22 minutes, enjoy. Let's do it. Temperature check, still at 400. It's not the biggest pizza in the world. Let's put this thing on. All right, there we go. All right, so right now the time is 3.03. I'll check back in about 20 minutes when it's at 3.23. And look at there, the temperature's coming right back up. I love this thing. What a great, what a great piece of cooking equipment. All right, so there's only 10 minutes left of the cook. Well, actually nine minutes now. And this is what the temperature is doing. Look how steady that is. That is amazing. And right now it's at 3.99. It took approximately, from me opening the lid, to putting the pizza in and shutting the lid, it took five minutes for it to get, actually I think it took, no, it, I'm sorry, correction, it took three minutes for it to get from the temperature it was to the uh, 390 area, 400 area, so it took three minutes. Four, it took five minutes to get to 400, and ever since then it's been hanging right around 399 and 401. So this is, uh, the Bronco is amazing. 
Okay, so it's been now 20 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take this pizza out, I'm gonna put it on top of here and try to get this lid closed as quickly as I can to try to keep this heat inside here. Hope I don't drop it. If I drop it, that will suck. Okay. Ooh, that looks promising. Not bad. All right, here's what underneath it looks like. Not bad at all. I would probably call that a, a success. Yes, you can make a pizza on the Oklahoma Joe Bronco. I maybe could have gone a couple more minutes, but overall, I'm gonna take, just take a little slither right here. All right, here I go. Excellent. That's the first way. Let's go on to putting it directly on the rack the way that they actually recommend it. This right here, a success. I can imagine how much better it'd be if it was actually like a fresh pizza. For being a frozen pizza, on your smoker, phenomenal. Okay, so the next pizza I'm gonna be making is going to be a three meat pizza. No crap, right? Anyhow, this one is 400 degrees, removed from the uh, package, placed directly on center of the oven rack for 21 to 24 minutes. This one, I'm gonna go probably more around the 23, 24 minute one on this one. Get out of here and let's get it onto the rack. Let's do this. Let's close that real quick. All right, current temp is 408, 406, 408. All right, there you go. Temperature's going up a little bit. I'm gonna adjust the flu down here just a little bit. Creep it down, down to about three and a half, three. Get those temperatures to come back down. And uh, right now the, temp uh, the time is, oh, look at 3.30. I'll be pulling this off, I don't know, 3.53, 3.52. So I'll pull this off. All right, just wanna show you all this. Uh, about seven more minutes until I'm gonna be pulling this pizza off. So when I lifted open the lid, I've removed that pizza stone. It kind of was acting like, like a heat barrier. So the temperature shot up. I went ahead, I made an adjustment, I, I turned the flue down, it dropped the temperature, then I just been incrementally just been making adjustments to where now it's it's uh, right around 400 degrees. Slight, slight, slight adjustment to get it where you want it to be, and uh, you're good to go. Six more minutes left. All right, it's 3.53. Ooh, la la. That looks, looks done to me. It's pretty dang awesome. All right, I'm gonna get it off here and get it on to the, uh, the chopping board. Let's look up underneath it. Okay, let's see if the bottom burned because, uh, you know, the heat source was coming from the bottom. No, perfect. All right, there we go. Nice. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cut me a piece off. It's a lot more crunchier. That crust on the bottom is a lot more crunchier putting it on the rack the way I did. Whoever it was, or those of y'all that suggested that I do this, on the Oklahoma Joe Bronco, great idea. So, can you make pizza, frozen pizza especially, on the Oklahoma Joe Bronco? Yes, you can. Confirmed. Anyhow, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next week with a little bit more hair on my face. Ciao.